Hello, Nomads Cult, and this video is about morphing heads. Um, and I use the reproject option for this. And okay, I show you what you can do with this thing. So this is a basic head. So in the layers menu here, you see here a lot of different layers. So when you change here a layer, it becomes a other head. So it morphs to a other face and there are different styles here. Here, something like Arnold Schwarzenegger and an older man. So here, and now you can create with different layers a, a new head. So maybe you want um, yeah, the comic flat head. So adjust the layers a little bit and play with it. So something like this, maybe. And now when you're happy, you can merge all layers down um, and sculpt with this head. So so now, now you have a new mesh and here you see the wireframe, you can voxel remesh it, maybe like this. And now you can sculpt with it. So here adjust it a little bit, use a crease brush, not in this direction. And so on. And okay. <laughs> That's um, how I use it. Um, I, yeah, I blend different heads uh, into a, a other head um, and start from this point and um, yeah, and create now the new head. So you can do now <laughs> very nice things with it. So that's a workflow. So how to do this? Okay. Um, I open a new file, so not this one, sorry, this one, here I got two heads, this head here, I turn the outline on, this is my layer mesh. So here I got my complete layer list for this uh, mesh and here are my transformations. So I want to add a new transform head to this. I add a layer and say it's head 14. So this is my target or I want to get this head on this one. So first I have to position the, the uh, when you look at the wireframe, I remeshed it, it's, it's voxel remeshed. So, okay, I place it in the origin of the world and then I adjust the scaling. So I place it here on the other head, adjust a little bit the scaling, the rotation maybe, the size, so that it overlaps a little bit. So something like this is okay. So 
now they, the heads are in a correct position. And now I switch back to my start mesh. So this is my start mesh. And my layer is active. So now I need the, in the MISC menu the reproject option. Here is only vertices selected. And for the first step, I change the ripe, ripe bias to 100%. And I press here, reproject from high res. So at the bottom, there's a the solo view active. So you see here, it's not um, a complete uh, yeah, fitting reprojection. So now I use the smooth tool and here you can change uh, the intensity, use a little uh, a higher intensity and smooth here the mesh a little bit out. And here um, in, the, in the ear area, smooth it like this. And then open the reproject option and change it back to 1% and press again, reproject from high res. Now you see the result is a little bit better. Um, yeah, we can now change here the relax, um, the smooth option to relax and relax, we relax the mesh here. We can use a, a bigger brush size to relax everything a little bit. So, and now press again, reproject from high res, high res. So we can do it again. So here on the ear is a little bit of problem. So we can change the brush to only smoothing at the moment. And smooth the mesh here a little bit. And there are yeah, if the head is uh, really complete different uh, than the, the base head, then there are a few problem zones. So I do it like this here. Um, I go back to the, the target or the, uh, the second head and I switch to additive and I change the opacity and now I leave the solo view at the bottom so I can see both meshes here and here you can look inside the mesh here. So this is the zone from the ear. So now I try to reproject it again. So now it fits better. So I can try to relax the mesh here a little bit and here's a problem. I fix it with a relax option and then I smooth it without relaxing. So now you see here the, um, the mesh is uh, nearly complete uh, matching the other um, mesh. So I try a, a last reproject. So I leave uh, now the the view here and I change it back to opaque to check the mesh. So here the, these are the last problems. So I use the smoothing here, I smooth this out. So like this. So, so I check the mesh here the last time. So, and here is also a problem zone. So I change back to additive and try to pick this point here. It's 
it's hard to grab. Now I got it. So I'm smoothing out or relaxing out this mesh point. And now it should be okay. So I go back to the opaque view. So I check the nose, is everything okay? So, yeah. So you see here on the other side, here's a small problem, but no uh, problem at all. So I use uh, the mirror option and uh, mirror from right to left. So now everything should be okay. Looks fine. So. Oh, <laughs> we worked on the wrong, on the wrong mesh here. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's do it again. Uh, no problem. Um, so, reproject from high res. It's okay, I think. So let's smooth it a little bit. Now I use relax. <laughs> yeah, now the two heads are real matching each other. So everything looks fine. I hope you get the, the workflow. So now on this layer here is our new head um, and yeah, it seems to work. So now it's possible to, to mix this head with a comic style uh, head and or with an older woman. And don't care about this um, when um, some parts of the mesh are uh, double. So you can add a layer here, uh, create a new layer, and then you can smooth this, uh, this other thing here out, uh, what you don't want. So, or the other ear. And um, yeah. So you can delete then the layer and it's back. So work with the layers and play with the, with the different head styles. So you can create real cool base meshes. Okay, so that's the workflow. Have fun with sculpting, ciao.